profit during a two red news event session. Let's get straight over to the charts. Back again time here is three minutes past seven London time. Just sat down and started to prepare for the live London trade planning webinar with the members and seen a few entry points. There's been some reasonable moves overnight and I thought I'd get into a few trades early. Plus we've got two red news events coming up a little later at 8.15 and 8.30, both on the Euro. So quickly flick through these pairs and you'll see the pound Japanese yen moving down nice and strong. Got that as it came through this entry point here where that yellow line is. I'm going to pull in five pips on that at that zero zero in case price pulls back. A lot of whipsawing action over I don't know how long with the, the pound. So just going to cover that. And I've got my take profit in at two to one. So that's set at 24 pips, just above that 80 level there. So seeing the early weakness in the pound and in the euro moving down nicely. Pound Japanese yen moving close to my take profit down there. Also taking the Australian dollar, US dollar, taking this short as it came through an entry point on that previous candle. Australian dollar, Japanese yen. We're seeing that strength pulling on the Australian dollar, on the Japanese yen, pushing this down quite nicely. So I think that's what a lot of these moves were about overnight. So I'm just going to put 24. Let's see. That's it, 24 pip, take profit on that two, two to one. Again, limited for time this morning, and so that's why I'm only going for the two to one risk to reward. Usually, I would, um, some of these trades that have started to move early on, I'd be pushing them if I had a full session to be out, you know, if I had the time to trade a full session, but I don't at the moment. So just taking those two to ones. So Australian dollar, Japanese yen, Moving down nicely through that zero zero, looking for it to approach this 80 where I've got my take profit. See if there's anything else. Definitely the Japanese yen strength kicking in. I had a pending order on this Canadian dollar Japanese yen. Didn't come back to it, unfortunately. And so that's taken off without me being on board. So that's it. Just those three trades for now. I'll pause. I'll pause the video and I'll be back in a little while after I've Finish the live London trade planning webinar with the Price Action Traders Institute members. And if you'd like to find out more about that membership, if you'd like to join, join us and find out what we do, you'll find a link in the description box down below this video. So take a look at that and you can find out a lot more about what we're doing over here. Okay, pause for now, be back soon. So it's one minute past eight, uh, looking for the red news to come into play in 14 minutes. I'm actually out of those trades that I took before I did the live webinar with the Patty members. And the reason being is I'm extremely strapped for time this morning. I need to get out of here as soon as the news events are done. I'm going to be trading the red news events, but I need to get going as soon as the red news events are done. If I get any trades, I can manage them from my phone and I'll get back to you a bit later to let you know how they turn out if I take the red news events. But for now, those three trades that I took earlier, pound Japanese yen, I've got in this... Up here you can see a little marker there. Let this run down and this took profit. So I've got 20 pips on the pound Japanese yen. That's where the little marker is where it took profit down there. So 20 pips taken on the pound Japanese yen. Australian dollar, US dollar. I punched out of this giving me just three pips. Again, you can see that move just down there between those little markers. So three pips on the Australian dollar, US dollar, Australian dollar, Japanese yen. Took 11 pips on this price where I got in up here. Nice entry point there. Very lucky to catch that at that point. Watch that price come down to here, that yellow marker. And that's 11 pips. And like I say, those Australian dollar pairs, the only reason I've punched out is because I'm strapped for time. So I'm currently up 34 pips which would do me for a day if there's nothing to do on the red news events. But as a bonus, if there's anything to do on the red news events, I'll be trading those and see if I can grab some more pips. OK, I'll pause the video for now. I'll be back in 14, 13 minutes time, ready for the first red news event on the euro. And let's see if we can pull some pips out of the market on those. Back soon. 
So back ready for this first Red News event. We've got um, three minutes left, two minutes left before the Red News event comes out. We've got this Euro French Flash Services PMI is what I'll be looking at. So let's just minimize that. And it's just these two pairs that I'm going to be trading, Euro US Dollar and the Euro Japanese Yen. So just watching those pairs. We've got one minute and 20 seconds left. So I'll pause the video for now and come back just as the news kicks in, see if I can get any trades off. Okay, back with you. We've got five seconds before this red news event kicks in. So just watching to see what happens. Seeing an initial increase in the euro value. It's nice and steady. So, okay, I'm ready for buying the euro US dollar and Euro Japanese yen in the two of them now. Just putting my stops into place. 10 pip stop on the EJ and an 8 pip stop on the Euro US dollar. And we'll see how these play out. I'll set my take profit now. You see, usually what I would do is leave the take profits off on any news events like this and push the trades and see if I can push them up. But I want to set take profits on these now because if they make a pop, I'd like to grab the profit because I'm limited for time today. I need to be out of here soon. So I want to set that at one to one risk to reward. In fact, no, I want to move that up just a touch giving me a two to one risk to reward. So 16 pips if it hits my take profit, just below that previous day's low, uh, sorry, previous day's high. And the Euro Japanese Yen. Setting that at 20 pips. On that 20 level, so that'll give me a two to one risk to reward as well. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else to do now. Just sit and watch these. Bearing in mind there's another Red News event coming out in 15 minutes time. And for that, I need to be out of these trades. I can't be sitting in these trades when there's a fresh Red News event coming out. So just need to see if I can make a quick profit on these. Okay, I'll pause the video for now and I'll be back in a little while to give you an update just before the next news event comes out to let you know how these are doing. Okay, back soon. Okay, back again, seeing this starting to pause a little bit and stall, we've got another Red News event coming up in about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm showing a bit of profit, I'm punching out of that for 5 pips and the Euro US dollar for 2 pips. And I'm ready for the next Red News event at half past. So, I'm currently up 43 pips and flat the market waiting for this next red news event in around about eight minutes something like that so what i'll do i'll pause the video for now and i'll be back in a little while to see if i can take some more on this second red news event back soon back again for this second red news event We've got nine seconds eight seconds to go this is the euro we're looking at on this red news event and here we go. So looking at the spread. A little high at the moment, not interested right now. And we're seeing price flickering around. So let's see what happens here. Spread's still up a little bit on this. Okay, spread's starting to normalise now. Not really seeing anything significant right now. I've got the dilemma of thinking that I'm up 43 pips. Do I risk any of that? Or well, the other way of looking at it is, well, I'm up 43 pips. I can afford to lose a little bit and take a chance on this. But I'm not really happy with the way that this price is sucking right back already so early after the, after the release of the news. And so that's it, I think 
I'll be leaving it. That's me done. Decision made. I'm not going to be trading anymore. Right, I need to dash out now. I'll be back a little later just to give you a roundup of today's trading. Very, very quick session this morning. So I'll be back in a little while to give you a roundup of the numbers and show you what profit I've made. Okay, I'll be back later. So a relatively short session this morning. Three trades that I took before doing the live London trade planning webinar with the members. That was the pound Japanese yen took 20 pips on that. Australian dollar Japanese yen 11 pips. And the Australian dollar US dollar 3 pips. Then there was that first red news event. Took two trades on that. Euro US dollar 2 pips. And the Euro Japanese yen 5 pips. Second red news event. There was just nothing to have on that. Just wasn't seeing anything at all. So I skipped it. Ending up the session with 41 pips. So I'll finish this video now. Please remember to hit subscribe and hit the little bell and you'll get notifications as and when I post new videos. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.